Incidentally, Headmaster, uh, Miss Bridges' age scarcely approaches my own. She's 23 years old. Well, well, well. Well, 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 well. well. <laughs> Catherine and I spent the rest of that summer living in a woodman's cottage in Bavaria and walking in the mountains. It was a time of perfection such as I had never known or been able to imagine. charming. Well, we must thank Mrs. Wicket for that. I kept rather plain bachelor quarters. It was she who transformed it for you, my dear. Thank you. I dare say you'll have your own ideas for your home, Mrs. Chipping. Oh, no hurry. It takes time to make a home. Chips, mm -hmm. you wanted to go over to the common room. Mrs. Wicket and I will have lots to chat about. Oh, um, ah, women's business, enough said. <laughs> I'm very glad for him, ma'am. Thank you for saying that. Please, sit down. But not ma'am, I think. It sounds, well, subordinate. And you are the matron of school house. Well, that's kind of you to say that, ma'am. But the housemaster's wife is generally in charge. Oh, I do mean to pull my weight. I should like to help you whenever I can. Well, that would be appreciated. And I hope you will help me. I'm only a new girl. I've much to learn. You can rely on me, ma'am. To tell you the truth, I am much relieved by this talk. I was uh, concerned about my position. Well, now we know where we both stand. Let us be friends on that, matron. Thank you. And you have lived with your family hitherto, Mrs. Chipping? With my aunt in Ealing. Ealing? Ah, well, we must try to make you welcome here. Mrs. Meldrum will wish to invite you to dinner or some such gathering, but we must give you a chance to settle in first, eh, Chipping? Indeed, Headmaster, yes. And were you educated at the Ladies' College, or did you have a governess? Have a governess? I was a governess, after my aunt had made great sacrifices to send me to a small private school. A governess, hmm? A very worthy occupation. Where should we be without them? And now that you have the care, not of one family's children, but of 60 boys, do you not find the prospect daunting? Not in the least, Headmaster. I have my husband's example to inspire me. Ah, uh, yes. And a debt of gratitude to discharge to you. To me, Mrs. Chipping? My husband loves this school. He came here very young. You gave him his chance. Well, I pride myself on knowing a good man when I see one, eh, Chipping? Oh, that's kind of you to say so, sir. I love Brookfield already, just for its age and traditions. I can see those boys in the time of Queen Elizabeth in their doublets and hose and shining morning faces. <laughs> <laughs> and all the thousands of boys since. Our history, they lived it. I expect there was a school holiday to celebrate Waterloo. Yes, very like. That is what you and the school are carrying on. And I should like to be a humble part of it. I couldn't have put it more eloquently myself. I must uh, speak to Mrs. Meldrum, a dinner party. <laughs> Certainly, a dinner party. And before the week has passed. Hello, Mrs. Wicket. Oh. oh, Mrs. Chipping? 